Hi guys and girls, Miss Vaselli here, and today you're going to be learning about dividing by powers of 10. Now yesterday when we were multiplying by powers of 10, your numbers increased or got bigger. Tonight, when you're dividing by powers of 10, your numbers are going to decrease or get smaller. Good luck! Our guiding question of tonight is what is the relationship between 5,000 and 500? In this lesson, you will learn about the relationship between digits on a place value chart by dividing by powers of 10. Let's review. We've been looking at base 10 blocks all week long, and you know that the ones are signified by a small cube, and when we multiply 1 by 10, we get 10. The tens are signified by a rod. When we multiply 10 by 10, we get 100, and the hundreds are represented by a flat. When we multiply 100 by 10, we get 1,000, and 1,000 is represented by that large cube of our base 10 blocks. Yesterday, you were multiplying by powers of 10, so when we took the number 24 and multiplied it by 10, we just tacked on one zero to the end of the number 24 and shifted one place to the left on our place value chart. We did the same thing when we multiplied 24 by 100. We tacked on two zeros to the end of 24 and shifted the number 24 two places to the left of our place value chart. And then we multiplied 24 by 1,000 and tacked on three zeros to the end of 24 and shifted the number 24 three places to the left in our place value chart. A common mistake that many students make is getting confused when visualizing numbers that are bigger than 1,000. For example, how do you use base 10 blocks to represent 100,000? Let's take a look at the number 5,000. If we want to divide 5,000 by 10, to make that number 10 times smaller, we would get 500. Notice that when we divided 5,000 by 10, we took away one of the zeros, and our number became 500. If we wanted to divide 500 by 10, to make 500 10 times smaller, we would get the number 50. And so we would take away one of the zeros on the end of 500, and our number would become 50. If we wanted to divide 50 by 10, to make 50 10 times smaller, we would get 5. And notice that the last time we divided by 10, we took away this last zero, and our number became 5. So we took away one zero each time until we were left with none. Let's take a look at another example. If I wanted to divide 360 by 10, or make 360 10 times smaller, I would take a look at the number 36, and I know that I would need 10 groups of 36 in order to get my answer, because 36 times 10 equals 360. Similarly, in the other problems you just saw with the example of 5,000, when we divided by 10, we took away the zero tacked onto the end of 360 and came up with the number of 36. Let's take a look at 36,000 on the place value chart. If we wanted to divide 36,000 by 10, we would simply take away a zero from 36,000 and we would come up with 3,600. The same thing goes if we wanted to divide 3,600 by 10. We would take away a zero from 3,600 and we'll be left with the number 360. The same thing happens if we divide 360 by 10. We would take away the zero in 360 and we'll be left with the number 36. So instead of adding zeros on, like we did in multiplication when our numbers were increasing, we are taking away zeros when we're dividing and our number is decreasing. When we divide a number by 10, the number decreases in value and becomes 10 times smaller. Let's take a look at the number 78,000. If we divide 78,000 by 10, we get 7,800. We just take away one of those zeros. If we divide 7,800 by 10, we get 780. 
we're taking away another zero, and now we're left with one zero. If we divide 780 by 10, we get 78, and then are left with no zeros to take away. So, how is the two in the tens place different than the two in the hundreds place in the number 94,223? The two in the hundreds place is worth 200, whereas the two in the tens place is worth 20. So I know that 200 divided by 10 equals 20. So that means the two in the tens is 10 times smaller than the two in the hundreds place. Let's take a look at a similar problem. In the number 307,172, how is the seven in the tens place different than the seven in the thousands place? There are our sevens. The number in the thousands place is worth 7,000, and the number in the tens place, the seven, is worth 70. So, every time I jump over a place to the right, I know that I'm dividing by 10. So, 70 is 100 times smaller than 7,000, because when I jumped over, 10 and 10. So, 70 is 100 times smaller than 7,000. In this lesson, you have learned about the relationship between digits on a place value chart by dividing by powers of 10. Let's take a look at some guided practice. In the number 46,560, how is the six in the tens place different than the six in the thousands place? Remember that the six in the thousands place is worth 6,000 and the six in the tens place is worth 60. 